Hey everybody and welcome on back to Minecraft Whip here and today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of different wall designs that are more along the simple side. We've been taking a look at a bunch of them over the past year or so and more, more so recently with the new Minecraft 1.14 update and needing to defend our villagers from the nasty pillagers that just want to destroy them, ruin all of our trades, and just ruin everything we had going on there. But here, just looking now, are a few different ones that we've come up with over the past little while, and I think they're all great, I think they all look awesome, and I have been using basically every single one of them inside of my own survival world at one point or another, and they do the job just perfectly. However, looking at the new update, there's a lot of people who are starting out new fresh worlds, starting out new things, and don't quite have access to all of these different resources. So what I wanted to do today is take on the challenge of looking at quite a few different wall designs that would be about the four to five block tall side and maybe with the gatehouse or the gate entrance area being a bit taller. So it's something more simple, something more approachable that everybody can really build easily, get it set up within their own Minecraft world to start out. You don't have to worry about having a crazy amount of resources in order to set everything up. So hopefully you guys are excited for this one. Please hit that like button down below if you are and let's get on with it. And welcome to my super flat test world. I don't have to show this off to everybody because there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on over here. But today, you know, I figured it'd be a great idea to walk through here, watch, walk through a bunch of these gate designs here right behind me, and we can take a look at a bunch of them. And there is everything else I've been working on. A lot of random designs across this entire area. Anyways, today what I wanted to show you all is these ones. Obviously, that's what this whole video is about. The first one here is a simple desert wall that you could use that's pretty easy to keep like pillagers out and everything as long as it's one and a half block tall. You can easily see over the top of it. It's fairly quick to mine up a bunch of sandstone. You'd have to get a bit of wood in here. And then I really, really love this gate design. And you can also just throw it right here if you wanted to have it closed off and then you just open both those and walk right on through. I think that'd be something that'd be really easy to do and something pretty cool along the whole way. And you can make it a lot taller and similar to this second one that we have here, this one doesn't have a great area to be closed off, but you could just do something right there with a bunch of fence gates and see it perfectly stopped our pig from coming through here. This one is very similar to what I've been using around our farming area inside of the survival world. And I thought it was super cool, except up here we added this additional archway over the top, which almost makes it feel like you're entering a ranch house or a ranch somewhere in Montana, which I just thought was a really cool way to add something in. As, as you can see here, the wall height is gonna vary a lot as you're basically just piling up stones to create a wall, which I thought would be pretty cool to do. This one over here would probably be a little bit harder to close off, but you could bring all of these closed here shut and then go into your redstone tab right here, obviously, or just go into survival and get one of these guys and then you can place a door right there in the center. You could do that on both sides and you can open up both those, but hopefully it would open up the right way. Anyways, off here to the side, we're not able to jump over this one, but you can see through it so you can see what the heck's on the other side. Then here, you can just quickly do a little hoppity hoppity over here if you needed to. The fences, and we got some slabs on top of there. So that's fully mob proof going throughout the entire way. This one here reminds me a lot more of something that you would find inside of a city. Something to like defend a city gardens area almost, but I thought it was a cool wall design and want to include it here. Incorporating some of our new blocks is using the large smooth stone here. I thought would be a great idea of something you can have in the lower area, something that'd be easy to include and easy to have across this entire space. Then just using some chiseled stone, chiseled cobblestone or stone bricks and all that good stuff and some iron bars, which aren't too hard to make seeing as you only need six ingots and you get 16 of them. So it is pretty obtainable. The only problem here is you can actually jump over the top of that. So you might want to like bring these slabs across here. Then it feels a little bit more like a jail cell, but it still does look pretty dang cool. Similar to one that we did for our Taiga village way, way back when, where we made a giant like hedge wall around the entire area. You could come in here and easily create another one. This time we're using some jungle leaves as well as some oak leaves, because I think those look a heck of a lot better. And I think it's just, I really, really like the combination of these two leaf blocks together here. And you can make kind of a sprawling wall going across this entire thing. And then if you also grab our berries, the sweet berry bushes, and you bring those and kind of dot them along here, you can actually get a bit of a defense force anyways, because if you walk into those, if you're in survival mode, you'd be taking a lot of damage. So just dotting those along that entire outside, just kind of along the edge of all of your leaves, you can actually get a pretty defendable wall here. And also as far as 1.14.0, don't know if it's fixed in the new update, but pillagers would basically walk in these things and stall out and not really jump on the block in front of them. So it could work out well for you there. 
The doorway on this one obviously is pretty open, so you'd have to figure out some way that you want to block that off, but I think it's a cool wall design that you could use maybe as like an exterior wall approaching into the farmland. Then you have another wall or something and a gate behind that that's actually closed. This one here feels very, very much like that prison idea, but this is like a futuristic prison almost, using some light gray stained glass panes here as a doorway, then using some end rods here as a form of like an electric fence almost with all that stuff poofing off of them. I thought that was a really cool fix for like an, or a really cool way to use like an electric fence. And because if you place these basically back to back, it actually flips that second one. So they're always gonna connect every two blocks, which I didn't know for a long time. So it's actually a really cool way of creating some industrial looking lighting or such or stuff along those lines. I'm really hoping to be able to use this more down the road. I'd love to explore that style a lot more. But this one here, obviously, because we're using stained glass panes, the door can't really close. But if you did close it like this to keep yourself completely safe, you could do that and you could probably figure out a redstone way of having everything prop up there and like push everything up two blocks and then you can get out and then somehow bring them back down. I don't really know. I don't redstone, but you could figure it out, I'm sure. This one here is another city styled gate of sorts. Let's get this giant paint out of our inventory here. Basically using just some stone brick with a very, very simple cobblestone wall on top of it then using a detail point of the gate itself because we don't want to have a crazy high detailed wall and then also a crazy high detailed gate you can actually make the gate stand out even more or the archway here stand out even more by making that look really like simple and then having this crazy thing here so this using light gray concrete and then coming up here to the top we have some chiseled stone bricks and then some stairs kind of inverted out here and then do that again then bring up some cobblestone walls and we just have some dark oak fence posts on top and it creates a really cool look at the top of that one i really really like this design i really want to find a place to use it inside my own world down here for our next one this is much more of a modern design again something much much more modern inspired that almost feels like it's more for a house currently how it's situated but you could use it as some sort of a fence or a wall design if you say like brought dark oak slabs all the way across the top of this and you can have it as like a compound wall almost so it's not quite like for a house but it's like the exterior wall entering some big compound or mansion property or something like that using just some stained glass panes in there for some windows so you get a lot of light going through so you can really see through yourself as well then down here on the front to give it a bit more color we're using some sandstone stairs as like a railing point down here and then some bushes around the entrance so you can easily see through that see or get know which way is the entrance so you can figure out what areas you need to defend the most and here it would probably be easiest to create some sort of like a piston door that actually like filled in this entire area here for the bottom two blocks or something along those lines but i don't really know how that would work with the windows on all that stuff there but i think this would be a pretty cool one you could also bring in a bunch of like dark oak trap doors or something and create like a large wall right in here or just a door like something like this going throughout and throw some doors in it and that could actually look pretty cool as well but for now i like the plan of leaving this one wide open at least that gives you an area to know where everything's coming from you could potentially put like a lava blade booby trap down here or something so you could do this and place all your trap doors like right along here and then if you knew pillagers were coming just open them up right like that and they're gonna fall right down into the lava now this one here is a design that i have seen many many times online and but with different blocks and i wanted to test it out here using prismarine because in the background that prismarine block is changing colors slowly it has a bit of an animated like texture to it which i think is really cool so if you just watch it you'll see the color change here so if we put that in the background and then we bring some dark prismarine on the outside. It can really make that look super cool. Like this was green before, now it's much more of a bluey color. Then bringing in some stone brick slabs as well, you can really help detail this thing out. And then for that behind the area hedge wall, of course, I like bringing in a lot of our leaves, again with the oak leaves and the jungle leaves and all that good stuff. And it mixes it up very, very well. And from the inside, just looks very, very decorative and green and lush. And then from the outside, very modern and very very futuristic -y cool stuff in there i thought this one was super cool then if you came through here you could probably just create some simple wall entrance or gateway right like that it would actually look pretty dang cool this right here is probably much more expensive than any of the other designs seeing as we're using pistons but it gives you a great way to see through see everything on the opposite side without really having to worry about too much here because we have all of this like visible air space right there and i believe you can actually also shoot arrows and everything through those slits right there so you can get everything you want through there and kind of destroy stuff on the other side and maybe the pillagers could shoot back at you too but hopefully their ai isn't that smart we have slabs all the way along the top here to make it 
a lot more safe and mob proof and all that good stuff. And then a simple doorway here in the center just with a double door. And because we're using stairs to make a bit of an arch at the top, if you just throw some trap doors real quick across the top of that one, it actually helps make it feel like a taller door from this side, which is actually pretty cool. I love doing that little trick right there. It helps out a lot with making it much more believable and having like three or four block height doorways without it looking kind of too crazy or always using full blocks. Back to that Montana vibe that we were talking about previously, I wanted to create some sort of a picket fence design without using these guys, or I guess these guys, without just using like fences going straight across like that. I thought that'd be kind of lame and really boring. So I wanted to get something a bit more detailed and something a bit larger for ourselves here. So if we take these, basically using strip spruce logs, and then just have a few spruce slabs going half slab, half slab, and then bring them down one, do that again, and then bring it back up one. It actually makes a pretty cool like fence design here. That's like very easy to create. It's super fast to get all these resources. Spruce wood is one of the quickest wood types to gather as long as you get four saplings, leave them there, grows up a giant tree and you'll get like 30 freaking saplings back from it. And you can rinse and repeat that as much as you want. But this with some grass dotted around the outside of it could actually look pretty dang cool. You could bring in some leaf blocks as well and kind of make it look more overgrown along those sides here and do something like that for these open gaps so that you don't have like the little baby zombies and everything following you through those open gaps where they could walk through. But you know, it's it's a design in the works I thought I would share and let you guys come up with something cool beyond it. Cause you could just do something like this and then maybe skinny up the doorway there a bit more and something like that could actually look really cool in the end. Our final wall design for today is basically inspired by what I feel like everybody used to build way, way back when in like 1.7, 1.6 vanilla Minecraft when like this right here was the base design everybody used was just some cobblestone behind using some stone brick as like an archway using like a three by three or five by five pattern or five by three here in this case and then having a doorway surrounded by oak wood i thought it would be cool to since it's the minecraft 10th anniversary and all this week i thought it'd be cool to bring like a cool ode back to that og stuff that was very very cool way back when in the day but this one is a bit more updated here using some of our polished andesite stairs smooth stone blocks and mossy stone brick stairs which is absolutely amazing to have as well as our lovely lovely lanterns up here on the top basically it's just gonna be like for a small fortress or something your starter castle you could use an easy easily use a design like this one to make that a lot better off and then you just have a simple door that you can see through make sure everything's okay before you walk right out there then up here on the top, if you need to see over, or you need to shoot down at somebody, you can easily get up here. Just throw like a quick staircase or something and that's not gonna work. And maybe, yep, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> so you could just easily walk right up here and see out and look over every single thing going on out there, which would be really, really easy to do and really help out in this case. Anyways, that is going to have to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoy these 15 or so different wall designs and then a few extra ones from my own survival world so far. It was really, really fun taking a look and coming up with all these different designs. I felt like today on this one, I as I'm falling in the hole, I felt like I finally was able to come up with a few modern and not purely medieval designs that I actually really like for this. So I hope you all enjoyed that one. Please hit that like button down below if you did enjoy. If you have any ideas on what they might be announcing at the Minecraft 10th anniversary coming up very, very shortly, be sure to let me know that down in the comments below as well. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you are new, and I will catch you on the flip side.